Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar's weekend webinar. Traders, as you know, if you've been following along this last week, has been another week of surprise, surprise, NASDAQ strength, pulling the markets higher. We have been an official buyer of dips for weeks now, as we've been telling you in our YouTube videos, but you must realize we are day traders, so we could be buying today and selling tomorrow and buying the next day, and it does not matter to us as long as the markets go in the direction that we're choosing, right? But what I have noticed reading the newspapers for all the negative news articles that we used to see printed in every newspaper on the weekends, especially I'm talking Investors Business Daily, Financial Times, Wall Street Journal, you name it. We've seen nothing but horrible, horrible news, but lately it doesn't look as horrible. Manufacturing index orders up. Manufacturing index is up, baby. That's what we need out there, right? That's up. Inventories are down. Factories are not stockpiling their inventories as they used to. REITs. REITs are starting to climb up. Traders, if the REITs are going up, something's going on here. Banks are beginning to lend once again. We have eight straight weeks and counting of a NASDAQ rally boosting our other world. It seems to be world indices. If it was just here in the U.S., I'd say just the U.S. Look around at the global indexes, traders. They are all beginning to slowly move higher. And now we are beginning to get above the 200 bar moving average, traders. The 200-day moving average, as I mentioned in my last video, is a catalyst to make a lot of fund managers decide to get in or out of markets. When we got below the 200 ball moving average, a lot of traders got out of longs and either into shorts or into cash on the way down. Now we're starting to get back over that 200 ball moving average, which is likely going to make traders want to get long this thing. With all the news that's happening out there, traders, it is funny because we have a lot of stuff going on in newspapers. And I think the thing to do now is especially more than ever, stop reading the news and simply look at your charts. We have things like this, you know, in news, in Business Week. And, you know, Business Week usually puts out great articles and stuff. But in Business Week, they have something like this. The U.S. has... Three million jobs. It looks like we got three million jobs coming our way here in the United States, right? Right next to it in black. So that's what it says in red. Right next to it in black. What's it say? Why that may not be good news for the economy. Don't listen to these regs, I'm telling you. Not that they're posting bad info, but these newspapers and the televisions are geared to make panic. It's incredible. They do everything they can to panic you. That thing says, hey... Three million jobs being created and on the same page. Why, it's not good for the economy. I mean, give me a break. How could three million jobs not be good for the economy? So don't let these newspapers get you nervous. Use technical analysis, traders. With that in mind, in this video, because it's the weekend webinar, we, of course, like to look at the larger picture and try to decipher or determine where markets will go next on a larger scale so that we can trade them correctly on a short-term basis because we are short-term traders. So we're going to look at a short-term short trading technique that we used last week and worked well. And then we're going to look at a little bit broader picture here to see what's going on. And what that's about is this, traders. The 200-day moving average is something we are going to debut. We are going to look at it again. We're going to look at it every day while it has become in focus of where the markets are. But the smaller term, short term trading technique is this. The swing day traders, the swing day looks just like this without this bar. The swing day is day one setup, day two the market moves higher, turns around, drops and settles almost at its low of the day. Day three means you can sell it basically even or just about even with the previous day's high and expect some sort of market breakdown. That is exactly what happened on Friday, traders. And I think I want to talk about that for a moment. First, let's just say this. Swing days. 
We always handle the swing day in the same manner. I showed you a swing day from a few days back and the video that we had done and how we handled that swing day. Then on Thursday night's video for Friday, I put another swing day on the board and said handle it exactly the same way to get the same result. Now, a swing day is a great technique for a day trader. You're looking to get in, you're looking to get out. The next day is a totally different trade. Short-term trading, the swing day worked so well for us traders that I'm going to show it to you again in the chart segment momentarily. And then we will look at the larger term picture here and what it looks like is going on in world indices, especially here in the United States. So with no further ado, traders, let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, the first chart you're looking at here is the S&P June Daily Bar, and this is an illustration of a short-term trading technique that we used two weeks ago and again last week, and it worked really, really well. Now, traders, we do these videos the night before and show you the setup so that you can see the setup work before your eyes the very next day. So there is no denying whether or not these setups are working, right? That's why we do our videos the night before. Let's take a look at this now. What we did was we put a chart in front of you on Thursday evening, this very same chart, and we said the last swing day worked perfectly. Swing day was a line down, one right here, settled at the lows. We expected to, to, for it to look like that before the day was over. That was here. And as you can see, we had this and this, and the next day we ended up with this. So it worked out perfectly. Then we had another note to so number one. Last swing day worked out perfectly. Then we gave you another note. Today we have another swing day setup. Always trade the swing day in the very same way every time. And we showed you this, but this third green ball was not there. So you had one, two without the third green ball. Traders, look at note number three. Once again, it worked out perfectly on Friday, traders. We were able to wait. We waited all day till the market hit our sweet spot. We sold it when it got up here, which is almost equivalent to the day before's high. And it dropped and we made profit. It was about the only successful looking trade we could have handled all day on Friday. In fact, it was about the only place I had any reasoning for trading at all. So we sat on our hands, we waited, the market reached our sweet spot, we got in and we caught a nice trade. Traders, the swing day works really well. Learn it and live it. That's what these videos are about to give you trading tools to put in your arsenal of tools so that you can win this, if you want to call it, war against the markets. Because it's sort of like what it is. You're battling these markets every day. You're trying to win your battles. This is one of the techniques that will help you win your battle on most occasions. So that's the shorter term, small time trading, one day's trading, great technique that works for that. The next few charts I'm about to show you are slightly longer term trading. Let's take a look, traders. The NASDAQ June Daily Bar. Traders, this line here is the Omni proprietary moving average. Once we got above it, we started doing videos about a fundamental shift and the possibility of a nice smart rally coming our way in the indices. And then of course we became official buyers of dips once we got past here. The rally has been successful thus far. Look at how far it's gone. More importantly now, we are getting and have gotten above as of Friday, the 200 bar moving average traders. The 200 day moving average many, many times is the trigger for fun movement in and out of the markets. That is the 200 bar moving average. You see, our first trigger was the Omni proprietary moving average gave us a rally. Now the NASDAQ, which seems to be the leader of the S&P clearly, has gone straight up to the 200 bar moving average and it looks like it's going to get above it. I assure you the fund managers have their eyes peeled. Traders, first one to go was NASDAQ and it went straight up and kissed the 200 bar moving average and it looks like it wants to get above it. Looks like it wants to get above it. This is a point of decision right here, traders. If the NASDAQ fails to get above and hold above the 200 bar, you a new down leg will ensue. 
But that's not what it looks like is going to happen here, traders. I will admit, looking at indicators, looking at market breadth, looking at the market as a whole and reading the news, I think we take this 200 ball moving average out. We don't go down and we continue on the upside. Now remember, this is for slightly longer term view. This is not our opinion directly for tomorrow, but we are a cautious buyer of dips, as you know. So NASDAQ, first one above the on the average, we call it the leader and becomes the first of the indices to hit the 200 bar mover. Let's look at a couple of more charts here. Okay, traders, the next on the block here is the Mini Russell, and the Mini Russell has a tendency to follow the NASDAQ very closely. Mini, Ru Mini Russell also was one of the first ones to get above the Omni proprietary, and here now is the 200 bar moving average sitting right here around the 524 level. We are not very far from there now, traders. We've made it from this average all the way to here. And... The NASDAQ's already sitting up at its average. I don't see why the E-mini Russell would not make its way up there as well. So we have reason to think now that over the near term, which is not tomorrow's trading, but the next week or so, that the mini Russell should work its way into the 525 area, or at least go test the 200 bar moving average. Traders, let's look at one more indice here. Okay, traders, here we are now looking at the June S&P daily bar chart once again. Although it took a little time, first the NASDAQ went above the Omni proprietary moving average, then the Mini Russell went above, and then a few days to a week or so later, the S&P made its way above. Then the NASDAQ went straight up to the 200 bar moving average. The Mini Russell is getting very close to the 200 bar moving average. They are leaders of the S&P. Well, look where the S&P is now. It's sitting right here around the 875, 878 level. And its target, short-term target is for 960. That would be the 200 bar moving average. Of course, back here we have our head and shoulders to contend with traders. We have to get above the head clearly in order for this to become a strong bull market. But the head of the head and shoulders and the 200 ball moving average are in the same vicinity over here. So there is a target up there, whether it's the head of the head and shoulders from the left, or if it's the 200 ball moving average, the target up here is getting stronger and stronger. So I'm thinking that the S&P will, will follow in suit with the NASDAQ and the E-mini Russell and work its way up to the 200 day moving average. Traders... Pull your own charts, do your own homework, see if you can find the same things I'm looking at because they are quite compelling and convincing to an analyst like me. Do your homework, traders, and let's see what you got. So, traders, you see those charts? Now, let's talk about a couple of things, traders. Right off the bat, we're going to talk about the proper mentality behind being a trader who would like to have a little longevity in this business and last for a while. Traders... What you witnessed on Thursday night into Friday was a setup, and the setup was a swing day, right? Our mentality, my methodology, however you want to look at that, was to do nothing unless the market got to my level. I had a trading plan. You knew what the plan was. We discussed it on video the night before, Thursday night for Friday. The numbers were out on the Omni average or the Omni, the, uh, the numbers were out, out on the Omni page, I should say. So they were there for you to see. The market opened. There's a lot of chatter back and forth. Who wants to buy? Who wants to sell? And I say, Omniacs, steadfast. Stay here. Do nothing. It's a swing day. We do nothing unless the swing day materializes. Lo and behold, traders, sticking to our guns, sticking to our predetermined plan, we let the market go right up to just about the high of the day before on that swing day. We sold it on Friday, the market dropped, and every Omniac who participated had a winning day Friday. That is one of the many lessons that we like to exude and give to you Omniacs and to our students at the Omni Trading Academy. It's not all about the analysis and how to come up with the trade. It's also how to use patience, poise, and discipline in order to execute your plan. Traders, these are the things that we teach you here at the Omni Trading Academy. We would like to make you much, much better traders, both mentally 
And of course, analytically, because if you can't get the analysis right, the mentality is not going to help as much. But if you don't have the mentality right, the analysis will do nothing for you. They are a combination. They work together. And we would be more than happy to teach that to you. So you come on down to www.livewithoscar.com. Grab yourselves a free membership. Come into the classrooms. Come into the chat rooms. And allow us to teach you to be a better trader in many different areas. All right, traders. We're going to talk about one other thing. This 200 ball moving average. Traders, you see I am as steadfast as the day is long. When I see analysis, I go with the analysis. I don't care what the opinions are out there. Traders, I fought the bulls all the way from the 1570s. I fought them all the way down till we got through 800 in the S&P. And finally the bulls backed off a little and said, Oscar, maybe you're right 900 points later. But hey, they began to back off. Well, now... I've been slightly bullish after calling for 688 and getting down to 666. I've been mildly bullish and buying dips on the way back up. And you can't believe it. It's starting already. The bears are out there going, Oscar, you don't know what you're talking about. There's no reason for this rally. There are no fundamentals behind it. Go back to your cave. Well, I'll tell you what, traders. Learn how to read charts and forget about your opinions because your opinions are about as worthless as mine. I'm a human. You're a human. We're not supposed to have opinions. The opinion comes directly from the analysis because fundamentals always come out in the charts first. So take those opinions and those egos and check them at the door, traders. Use technical analysis to tell you where the market's going to go. And then use your trading mentality that we teach here at the Omni Trading Academy to implement that plan. Just to let you know, I fought you guys off all the way down, and I'm here to fight you off all the way back up, baby. I don't care what happens here. I'll fight you off if you don't know how to read the charts. But I will certainly help you learn to read those charts if you come down to my school. All right, traders, if you'd like to meet me in person, show up in Vegas. That is May 11th through the 14th at the Mandalay Bay. Come on down, traders. Book your flight and come on, meet us. We have a lot to do. We have a booth set up. We'll be in that booth all week meeting with our Omniacs. We have a speaking arrangement on the 14th. And we may actually have a little suite there on the same floor geared just for Omniacs to meet at. If you'd like to come on down to Vegas, give us an RSVP email at RSVP Money Show at gmail.com. That's the RSVP Money Show at gmail.com address. If you're coming down to Vegas, shoot us out an email so we can prepare for you and be ready to meet our Omniacs. Okay, traders, do your homework. Remember, it takes a lot of practice to get your homework right. It takes a lot of discipline to execute your plan, but always plan a trade and trade your plan. Don't deviate, traders. That's the way to get this right. All right, traders, barring keeping your stops in and always trading with stops and placing them first, I think I'm out of here. If you get a chance, give us a call at 10 day or night, 702-629-4755. And as always, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best ways I can help you with that is to tell you to say to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening. And you know what that is? Stops are in. Emotions are out. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I'm a 27-year seasoned trader on and off the trading floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years.